The truth about sunbeds. Why do doctors like me say that sunbeds are so dangerous? Rightly or wrongly, many of us feel that a tan looks healthy and feel better when we have a little bit of a summer glow. But what is it about sunbeds that makes them so dangerous? Part of it is that when you compare being on a sunbed to being out in the sun, sunbeds are emitting a very, very powerful UV. Their UV index is in the extreme range. When you compare that to the sun in a temperate country like the UK, there's a real difference between the intensity of the UV rays you're exposing yourself to when you choose to get in a sunbed. And that has a real knock-on implication from a health perspective. We're not talking here about accelerated aging, we're talking about cancer risk. If you have sunbeds at all, you have a significantly increased risk of developing any type of skin cancer. And that includes squamous cell carcinoma, which has the highest increase in risk, basal cell carcinoma, which is around a 29% increase risk and with melanoma which is the most severe form of skin cancer if you have a sunbed at any age it increases your lifetime melanoma risk by 20 percent however if you've had even one sunbed before the age of 35 that leads to a 75 percent increase in your risk of developing melanoma in later life just think about that a 75 percent increase just from a single sunbed session it's not just a little it's a really marked increase increase and although treatment options for melanoma are improving year on year and it's an area with a lot of research we do not want to put ourselves through this unnecessary health risk for the sake of having a tan. Compounding to that my concerns about the use of sunbeds to activate tanning substances like melanotan which can be injected and there are also nasal sprays and people who are combining those two technologies are in my opinion posing themselves an even higher risk by combining the risks of sunbeds beds alone with the risks of a medication that we have no clinical data or research about but which is trying to stimulate those pigment producing cells. My advice is practice safe sun techniques and there are lots of websites which give you real guidance based on how strong that UV index is, the sorts of measures you should be taking but at the very least avoiding the peak sunshine of the day and staying undercover. This isn't something where you should be proud to be baking outdoors. Making sure you're wearing a sunscreen which has not just an SPF of at least 30 in the UK, 50 if you're in intense sunshine, but also broad spectrum UVA protection. UVA protection is the one that causes DNA damage in the cells. Look after your skin, we only have one shot. If this content has been useful for you, please give it a thumbs up or send me a little message below and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.